welcome to Coding with Corgi. Today we'll be talking about arrays. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what they are and the basics of how to manipulate them and create them. So looking here at our notes, let's figure out what arrays are. Array is basically like a storage thing. It is a way to store info of the same data type. It stores things of the same data type. Also, they are a fixed sized, so you can't change them. You can't change how big or small they are once you've created them. And then by default, all, all indexes are auto-filled <laughs> with 0 or 0, 0.0 or false if these are like integers, doubles, or booleans. If they are objects, then you will have null. You'll have the word null. Okay, so the great thing about arrays is kind of like variables, you can revisit them. You can store them somewhere and then you can revisit them. So let me tell you how to create an array. Creating an array is actually not too hard. So you have the data type and then you have the square bracket. Then you have the array name. Then you equal the word new. And then you have the data type with the square brackets again. But inside the square brackets, you have the size or AKA the length of the array before you have the, the semicolon. And to add values to this array, all you need is just like when you're creating variables, you have the array name. And now, normally with arrays, sorry, normally with variables, you would just have equals and then whatever the value is. Now with arrays, you actually have to use indexes in the bracket. And if you don't remember, indexes are the spots in the array that have, it's like the address of an array. And a lot of people like this term, nerds start indexing at zero. So what a, I'll go ahead and show you what a array looks like and what the indexes I'm referring to are in a second. But before we do that, let's do the quick fill template. The quick fill template actually looks the same as the left side of creating array. So you have your data type, bracket, array name, equals. After that, you actually have the curly brackets and then you fill it with, that, with, ever, with whatever values you want. Now, one thing to note is you can only do one or the other. You can't do both when creating one array. Otherwise the computer will freak out. So let's create an array of integers just to see what's going on. So in here, if I want an array, and we'll call it um, number of pets I own. Then I have new int array because I own two dogs, one rabbit, one fish and one snake. I'll put five in here. Automatically, we know at this point in time, the array's automatically filled with zero. And the indexes, remember, indexing starts at zero. So even though the length is five, the index is four. That's a big difference that you need to understand. So now, let's take a look at each pet's age. 
if I want to create values to a, at, in an array, I have to put the array's name, pets, and then the index. So my first animal, Jojo, is eight years old. This tells the computer that at index zero, we fill in the value eight. If we want to do it with the next one, which is my fish, she is 13 years old. It looks like this and so on and so forth. My other dog is actually one, not even one years old, so we'll still put zero. And you're my rabbit. Just turned one actually two days ago. And last but not least, my snake. She is three years old. So this is what it looks like before and after. Length is something that's really interesting. So to get the length of any array, all you need is the array name dot length. This will give you the length of any array. How do you get the middle index? Well, even if it's not an odd number, all you need to do is the length of the array divided by two, and that will get you the middle of the array. So remember we had my pets, and the pets index looked like this. It had an eight-year-old, a 13-year-old, Kai, Pepper, Sweet Pea. And remember the indexes, nerds start indexing at zero. So the indexes are zero, one, two, three, four. If we want to get the length of this, it's pets.length. If you write this down and you print it out, you'll get five. Why is it five and not four? Because if you look here at the old notes or the notes before, the length is inside this array. So right here is the size. Here's the int. Those two things tell you what the length is. The length is the max index plus one. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you or you'd rather just think of it as separately, that's totally fine. I'm gonna quickly go over some examples. So to find, if I want to manipulate the last spot, I would usually just do pets at index four equals and let's do a hundred it's similar to when you do let's create an array called len and you set that equal to pets dot length then if you do pets at index len minus one and you set that equal to a hundred that is the same thing because this len here is five. So five minus one is the same thing as four. Now, if I want to get the middle, it's pretty easy. We know the middle is pets at index two. And we set that equal to 50. This is similar to pets at len divided by two index and we set that equal to 50. So those two things are the same thing. If you have any other questions about how to manipulate it, go ahead and ask me in the comments or DM me and I'll respond as fast as I can. See you later, bye.